I think so. Would you go first or second? I second. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Put your eyes on, huh? Yes. I, I have to put my, I mean, this is my preferred That's size, fine. but this is good, but this is good. And I want to see if it's the same language I've been practicing. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here because I'm going to come do the bros in this. Okay.
Good morning. The Rosary is a spiritual and beautiful meditation of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus through his mother's eyes. Each bead you touch is like holding the gentle hand of our Blessed Mother as she leads you closer to her Son. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today we're going to play, pray the Luminous Mysteries. The first Luminous Mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Jesus descends into the water of the Jordan River and is baptized by John. The heavens open and the voice of the Father declares him the beloved Son. The Spirit descends on Jesus in the form of a dove and fills him with God's mission to save humankind from sin. After Bill was baptized, the Holy Spirit found a home in his heart and remained with him all the days of his life. As he grew older, Bill received the other sacraments, and he treasured each of them as a precious gift from God. We believe that God was very generous to Bill, beginning with his marriage to Nancy and the gifts of the three children. He received genuine love from all of his family members and from us, his extended family. Who would have thought that someone born in 1935 in Jacksonville, Florida, would someday touch the hearts of so many people, including each of us that are here today. I'm sure when Bill came to the gates of heaven, he heard God's voice saying, welcome home, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come, share your master's joy. We thank you, God, for giving us the gift of this wonderful person in our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. Jesus changes water into wine at the request of Mary, who was first among his believers. The disciples witness this miracle, then their hearts are open to the faith, and they begin to believe in him too. To Bill, it didn't matter if you were family or friend. He wanted you to have the very best that life could offer you, and he was willing to help you reach that goal. We glow brighter with the light of Christ when we obey instructions he gives us. Even when the task doesn't make sense, if we do whatever he tells us, Christ reveals his glory in us and through us. Bill listened to the voice of God. He was a faith-filled servant, a quiet and gentle soul, and a loyal member of our Catholic faith. Bill taught us to help whoever was in front of us that needed help. One of his greatest gifts was enriching our lives with his time and his intention. Bill made each person feel special. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Almighty Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Jesus preaches the gospel in Galilee. He proclaims that this is the time of fulfillment, for the kingdom of God is at hand. He asks all to repent and forgives the sins of those who believe in him. Bill was always giving to his church, to his community, to his family, and to his friends. Everyone that came into contact with Bill was graced by his spirit. It didn't matter to Bill what you looked like or what your background was. He accepted each person right where they were on their journey and made each one of us feel special. He listened, then he offered his wisdom. He proclaimed his faith by how he lived. If you were in need, you knew you could always count on him, and you were very blessed to spend any of your days in his presence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration of Jesus. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Bill always recognized Jesus for who he really is and why he came into his life. He was filled with hope and followed in God's ways all the days of his life. Bill was passionate about life. He grew in his faith and encouraged others to do the same. He recognized Jesus and the people that he met along the way and encouraged us to learn and live our faith more deeply. In the Eucharist, Christ lovingly shares his body and blood with us for our ultimate nourishment. To his family and all of us here today, Bill's happiness was found in the special relationships he had with each of us. 
He loved sitting down and having a conversation with you. It was the best part of his day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and giving it to his disciples said, Take and eat, this is my body. The Eucharist was precious to Bill and was the strength in his life. When we receive Eucharist, we are able to share the light of Christ with others, to go make a difference in this world that is so in need of God's presence. He understood with humility and confidence his call from Jesus to bring others to him. The death of a loved one is always a sad event. No matter when or how it happens, we need not be ashamed of our honest feelings, but as we work through our grief, we are profoundly helped by our faith because we know that our life has not ended, but changed. We have the resurrection and eternal life ahead of us as Jesus promises to prepare a place for us. Let that be the hope that sustains us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Oh, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah.
entrance hymn is number 243 in the St. Augustine hymnal. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, William Preston died with Christ. On this day of his return to the Lord in glory, may he forever share eternal life. Family, if you would come forward now. On the day of his baptism, William was clothed in the white garment of salvation. On this day of his return to glory, may he be garbed in the white garment of salvation. Let us proceed then to the house of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant, William Preston, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for God's word. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. 
chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interest, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly, as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially. Then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to support exposed her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. 
Such was his intent when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. It means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into her home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Father Rudy, thank you as pastor of this community for your gracious welcome to me and to all of us. And Father Tony, you've walked with Bill a long time as he entered this ancient church some years ago. We are grateful for your presence. Ah, oh, Nancy, we are here. We're blessed to be here with you today. And even if it's terribly sad in some ways, um, it's still really good to be with you this day. And I'm sure that you would want us to remember how to be united today. And we know that Jesus knows all of us by name, but we don't necessarily know each other exactly except as we share our baptism in Christ. But with you, I would like to welcome your children, Patty and John Keating from Orlando, Florida, Bill and Joyce Groom from Charlotte, North Carolina, Chris and Pam Groom from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Welcome to our place. You will find it's a little warmer than most of the places in which you live. But I hope it is not just the temperature that you will find warm. I hope you will find us warming with you in spirit and truth as we uh, lay your Father to rest and commend him to the Lord as he has commended the Lord to us so frequently and consistently in the way. Nancy, I know you would want us to know your grandchildren, J.P. Keaton, Aaron Simpson, Peter Groom, Holly Groom, David Groom, and Jessica Hamaker and two great-grandchildren, Adeline Hemmaker and Elie Simpson. Delighted that they could travel to be with us from so many different places. And also your siblings are here to support you and to pray with you on this day. We're happy to have them with us. Mary and Dave Swearinger, and I'm sure I didn't do that right. <laughs> Peg and Pete DeVore from Calgary, Canada, Tom and Kathy Venema from Massachusetts, and also nieces and nephews. We're delighted that you're here. Uh, we need you, you need us, it's a great time. It's a great time for us to see each other as well. But it's not just the natural family, the biological family who's here. We have uh, lots of folks from St. Peter upon the water, which has been a, a real source of uh, strength and and, well, the Lord's work with you, Nancy, during these uh, many years now. It's many now. We can say that clearly and truly. And this choir over here, by which you have found a home in, 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 in prayer and thanksgiving Sunday after Sunday, as you with them lift up their voices as they are doing today to, to allow us to hear God's presence and word. And then this entire beautiful parish here at Sacred Heart and Comfort who have welcomed you uh, in that glorious way, in that beautiful way, uh, through the rites of joining the ancient church uh, so long ago. And uh, it is, it is, it's beautiful. I'll never forget the first time I met you 
and that was sitting in a chair in my office, the tiny office of about 500 square feet as we began the work of St. Peter upon the water and this little elfin lady was there waiting to talk to me about what we were about to do and what she was about to do when she and Bill had just done and they were looking for a home to, to use all of this newborn energy, this all renewal of the baptismal commitments and promises in that place. It was a graceful day and it has produced much grace. It has been the conduit for much grace in, um, in our world. So it's true, our hearts are heavy today, but the burden of this separation, as temporary as it may be for the believers, is heartened significantly by the words of the Old Testament proclamation that the souls of the just are in the hands of the Lord and no torment shall touch them. How, how many funerals have we attended in which that was the, the first reading? It's so often chosen because it, it just touches the heart and it gives us the kind of confidence and trust that, uh, that this life of faithfulness has been um, still fulfilled. The Hebrew community at the time that this was written or only had a growing awareness of the resurrection and what it would mean uh, for the Hebrew people and for those who would believe, but it would come to fruition. That which they dreamed about, that's what they hoped about, eternal life would come to its completion in, in the event of Jesus' living, dying, and rising, and, and the event of his resurrection, which he promised to share with all who would believe in him, and all who would walk with them. I, I find it such an incredible possibility and such an incredible certainty of the traditions that we follow that I, I find it difficult to believe so many would walk away from it so easily because it is uh, all the love that we have known here is not going away. All the love in your family, all the, the love that we have shared with each other is not passing away with death. And that kind of, that kind of continuity between living and dying and dying and living is so amazing. This, trend, this miraculous transition from death to new life that, that is being known to us, Bill believed it and you believe it and we who are gathered with here today believe it and that, that's a strengthening, uh, amazing, amazing uh, note for us to embrace. And Nancy, you have given us this most exciting and bit unusual gospel text for a funeral. I don't believe I have ever, I have ever uh, read the gospel, the birth of Jesus at, the, at, a, at a funeral before, but it's so clear to me why you did as you gave it to me and as I sat with it and all of a sudden I really understood what you wanted me to focus on and that was the relationship with Joseph and this child Jesus and the connection between William's life and Bill's life and, and that Jesus and therefore Joseph's with Mary and Bill's with you and how that defines so tremendously and, and clearly what brings you to have strength this day and, and confidence this day and a willingness to not simply fall apart in tears but rather to mourn in a way that, that gives life to others around you and, and sees that. So for a moment let's examine the aspects of that vocation of Joseph, spouse of Mary, foster father of Jesus and how it connects to William Preston and how, they're, how they they clearly, Bill clearly imitated this one. First of all, Joseph was this dreamer, we're told, who in recognizing he had a dream, it wasn't, it wasn't a dream about him principally. It wasn't about his glory. It wasn't about his prosperity or anything, but the dream was about sacrifice. The, the dream was about surrender. Who dreams about surrender anymore? You know, when, when you listen to it, where, you know, the dream is the gold medal at the Olympics, or the dream is a new business, or some, you know, some prosperous thing, or that particular woman that we're looking for, for a man, and the like. But no, this, this dream was about, about an invitation to sacrifice. Uh, the kind of sacrifice that's described in the second reading today, a sacrifice that happens with love. 
I was talking to a group of people the other day, and what I truly understand, that there's never been a love relationship that didn't, that didn't require sacrifice. It just didn't, doesn't exist. And if they did, don't exist, they don't last very long. You know, they're, they're like that seed that is planted on, on concrete and it blooms for about two seconds and then it passes away. And we've got plenty of examples of that around. But it, this, this was a dream about willingness to obey, willingness to hear, willingness to listen. That takes a lot of courage to have that kind of a dream, a lot of faithfulness to have that kind of a dream. And so Joseph did it. He, he claims his vocation with Mary. He claims the love. He claims the love of God simultaneously with his love for Mary and now this love for this child who is still quite mysterious to him. The whole notion seems quite mysterious to him. But I will, I will trust the Lord. I will trust the love that, that he has invited me to have, this kind of redemptive love, this sacrificial love, obeying God and protecting that family so beautifully. The dreamer would have impressed him, followed a longing heart, and led you with him into the ancient church when William professed the Catholic faith at the Easter Vigil of 2003 together with you to celebrate it. It was a dream that he had first, as you tell us often. He said he always wanted to be a Catholic. And so I mean, it was a dream that that needed a journey, and, and, and it was not necessarily an easy journey. One of the things that I know about Bill through our conversations together is how much he liked to be on his boat. <laughs> you guys out there, you know, the stories I hear about you traveling with him, especially as he got older and couldn't get everything done properly and well, and what you had to do to make sure that boat was on, on its journey. It's a beautiful thing. The beautiful thing because, you know, the, the, the water is unsteady, the temperamental, and you don't get to decide how it's going to be. Sometimes it's rough and sometimes it's calm. and That's exactly the way life is, but you stay on the boat. Stay in the relationship. You stay on the journey. That's what it means to obey and how it, and how it moves along. It's breathtaking and it's, and it's inspiration and it's faithfulness. Joseph sheltered Mary and Bill protected you all. He did his best to make sure that what you needed, he, you had. Joseph worked hard to provide. Bill worked faithfully and voraciously for his family, retiring twice after 28 years in two different occupations. It's a kind of faithfulness and determination that isn't often seen. This is even, interestingly, maybe more important. Joseph lived a hidden life. Stayed behind the scenes, mostly. That was Bill. Bill was not the one to push himself out in front of Eddie or brag about his accomplishments, which are really clear and which you heard so much more about during the rosary today. Accomplishments he knew that had their origins in grace. Not even in talent or determination, but in grace. Rescuing along the way when we didn't stay on the right path exactly. He knew that only God's grace made him strong and wise. And to rely on that was his joy. Joseph supported God's work in Mary. And Bill not only fostered, but celebrated your gifts and your vocation without ever a hint of jealousy or resentment as to Joseph and Mary and their relationship. To be able to lift up the other is a vocation. And it's certainly part of the vocation of marriage. It's certainly clearly the part of life. Goodness. Joseph generously sacrificed for the kingdom. Bill always was open in generosity to others, both with cash and with time and this other thing called patience, <laughs> to be able to continue to walk with people who didn't look like they were all in order, and to be able to wait with them and help them get in order. Really good things. 
Like Joseph, Bill lived out his gospel call simply by loving his wife, family, and countless others who received his kindness and gentle humor because he was very subtle in his humor. Bill loved most clearly the model for it is found in the message of 1 Corinthians. When Paul sought to describe the kind of sacrificial love of Jesus, certainly not devoid of friendship, but rather Paul focused on redemption, not on romance or pleasure. Paul allowed his own experience of Jesus to give him words that which happened on the road to Damascus, that which continued to be in their conversation with each other, those are how he described, that's how he come to, come to know what love is, what true love is, what the reality of love is. And so it was with Bill. His definition of love came from experience, both the excitement and exhilaration of knowing the one you love, but also the pain of having to apologize as well as the reality of being forgiven what comes with that be understood by the other and what it means these are amazing things amazing gifts to us knowing all the risks that comes with continuing to live when one is sick Bill opted for open heart surgery so when he and Nancy could spend more time together in the years ahead. But rather, God's will, that we are left rather to celebrate and remember. Remember all that was blessed in your 51 years of marriage together. The blessing of 30 years of sobriety that he offered. That is no small trick for those who are, have addictions. It too is love itself to day by day resist and not drink but not surrender to the, the addiction. These years of faith, these 51 years of marriage and these 30 years of sobriety, his faith in Jesus grew and his love for you and your, his children and the extended family grew. His love for Christ grew. His love for the church grew. They did not win, win away. He did not as he aged, he did not grow less a believer or less involved or less in love with you and the Lord. So finally, we are wrapped more in joy and thanksgiving than in sorrow and sadness. Bill has shown us the way of Christ. May we live and die in that same spirit with the confidence in God's word, God's clear word, his promise to be with us now and his promise of eternal life. His journey is complete, but we still have ours to finish. With that same joyful confidence, we move toward Christ ever more closely. This liturgy will allow that to happen if we will embrace it. It will be the next step in growing closer to his presence and to our confidence in his word. We are delighted by the faith of the community present. We are uplifted by your faith, Nancy, and the strength of your family with us. But most importantly, we are confident in Christ's promises to us. Eternal life is an incredible blessing. If you will, stand with me as we pray. We lift now our needs to the Lord. He hears us in our need.
We pray for our brother William Bill, that God may free him from all the chains of sin and death and welcome him in eternal joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for William Bill, family, and loved ones, that they may support one another in love and trust in God's goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for those who minister to the dying, that they may bring comfort and dignity to all those in their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are suffering in mind or body, that Christ's presence will bring them healing hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all our departed loved ones with whom we are united through God's love, especially William Bill, that they may share Christ's risen life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make these our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Be seated then as we prepare the table of grace. The, the presentation hymn is number 584 in the, in the hymnal, Lord of all hopefulness. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Bill, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. or be seated as your tradition suggests. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Again he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim our death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, Michael, and Gary, our bishop, and all your clergy. Remember your servant, Bill, whom you've called from this world to your son. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand then with me, if you would. And at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Thank you much. Please kneel or be seated as you tradition suggests. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servant Bill, that cleansed by these paschal mysteries, he may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of Bill, our brother. May our farewell express our affection for this dear husband. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day, we shall joyfully greet Bill again when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself. Father of mercies, we commend our husband, our father, grandfather, brother and friend, Bill, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Bill in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with Bill forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bill will be interred at the military cemetery uh, at a later date. Um, we with honors that he so well deserves for sharing our country and protecting us on the journey. We give thanks to God for that. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, and Son and Holy Spirit come upon us and remain with us forever and ever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, thanks be God. God. I will.
will raise him up, and I will raise.